Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Frisch and Lockert. This game was played in Germany in 1989, and this is actually a correspondence game. White started with e4, e5, knight to f3, attacking the pawn on e5, but black didn't defend the pawn. He played knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4. This is Petrov defense, so Russian defense. D4. Knight takes pawn on e4. Bishop to d3, attacking the knight. D5, defending. Knight takes on e5. Bishop to d6. This is very symmetrical, isn't it? Knight to c3. And black captured the knight, doubling the pawns. Pawn takes knight. Knight to d7. White castled kingside. And black castle king side 2. Rook to e1. Bishop takes knight. Pawn takes bishop. Rook to e8. And we have reached the critical position of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Would you defend the pawn on e5 by playing something like bishop to f4? Or would you go for Greek gift, sacrificing the bishop on h7. If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for white. And just imagine that this is your game. Ready? Are you a risk taker? In the game, white did sacrifice the bishop on h7. This is check. King takes bishop. Queen to h5, check. King to g8. And usually there is a knight that jumps to g5 and helps the queen to give check and checkmate. But there is no knight. White has a bishop. Bishop to g5. And black played rook to e7. Alternative is f6. Then pawn takes pawn. And after knight takes on f6, bishop takes. Rook takes on e1. Rook takes rook. Bishop to g4. Queen takes bishop. Queen takes on f6. Who is better? white or black. Maybe white's king is safer. Let's go back to our game. In the game we have rook to e7. Rook to e3. Queen to e8, unpinning. Bishop takes rook. Queen takes bishop. Rook to h3, threatening checkmate. f6, queen to h8, check. King to f7, rook to h7, threatening rook takes on g7 or queen takes on g7. Queen to f8, defending. White played e6. King takes pawn. Rook to e1, check. And what now? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Would you play king to f7 or king to d6? Well, black resigned. Black only considered king to f7 helping Twin to defend the pawn on g7. And then he looked at this variation. Rook takes on g7, check. Queen takes on g7, and checkmate. But there is no need for the king to go to f7. King 
to d6 may be better. And one line goes like this. Rook to e8. Queen takes queen. Rook from e takes on h8. Knight to b6. Rook takes pawn. Bishop to f5. And black would continue to fight. However, in this position, black resigned. Viewers sometimes complain that some chess players resign too early. This is certainly the case. But we can't really blame the player with black pieces, because he thought that he lost, and he even didn't see the saving move, which is king to d6. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess, and bye for now.